let's kick it up another notch. I'm trying to hit 150 likes on today's video because trust me. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are. With the number five overall pick in the 2022 draft, the Giants selected Kayvon Thibodeau, Edge, Oregon. Let's go Ducks, baby. And oh my goodness, absolute home run of a pick. Kayvon Thibodeau was widely regarded as the number one prospect for the majority of the college football season. Matter of fact, ever since he was a freshman, he was pretty much looked at as an elite prospect right away. So for this man to fall to number five, the Giants got themselves as a good one, man. Him and Aziz for the future. That's scary hours. Came around the quarterback. Look at this right there at the wake up. Now they did also have the number seven overall pick courtesy of the Bears. They selected Evan Neal, tackle Alabama. And in my opinion, another home run pick. Because if you told me Evan Neal or Kayvon Thibodeau went number one overall, I wouldn't even have hated it. So for the Giants to land the both of these players is absolutely amazing work done by them. And the future's looking bright here in New York. Except... We still got Daniel freaking Jones. I still can't believe they picked this man number six overall. Trying to stay upright and he trips. Now, I actually don't mind Danny Dimes too much, if I'm being honest with you. I think he got dealt a terrible hand with this terrible O-line. Saquon always being hurt. Their wide receivers were hurt last season. But I'd be lying if I said we're going to use him for more than a season. And the main reason why is because his rookie contract is coming down to an end. I feel like he's gotten chance after chance after chance. And like I said, although he was dealt still a bad hand for almost every single season of that, um, there's no way we pay the man. Hey, Saquon, injuries are off. Go crazy, my guy. Second round pick, the Giants decided to go with Wandell Robinson, wide receiver, Kentucky. An interesting selection, in my opinion, because I feel like his game is very similar to a Kadarius Tony. And although I still feel like it was a slight reach, um, I'll try to make it work to the best of my ability. I mean, at the end of the day, him and Tony on the field together should be very entertaining at the least. So I'll try my best to implement him and develop him as we go on. Speaking of the double, though, Kadarius oh, Tony. Hey, hey, yo. Oh, here we go. Kadarius Tony, man. He had a very up and down rookie season. Had some incredible games. I believe he had a crazy one against the Dallas Cowboys, and he was hurt for the majority of it as well, unfortunately. But end of the day, this man is one of the shiftiest players in the entire league. He is crazy. Like 95 change of direction, bro. My guy's gliding out there. And yes, there were some random trade rumors that have came up in this offseason so far, but guess what? I'm in charge now. He ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um... I don't really know what to say about that. In real life, we still know Galladay can become the beast that he was in Detroit if he just remains healthy, but on Madden's sake, he has gotten downgraded to an 81. He's gotten downgraded to start of all. He's already 27 years old, which I believe is around the age of regression, so... In terms of Madden's sake, I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep him around. Same thing can be said about Slayton and Shepard. Um, I'll probably move on from the one of them very soon. Tight end lost Evan Ingram and Kyle Rudolph, but did draft Danny Bellinger. And you know what? I'm going to start him right away. Why not? Let's give Rook a chance. O-line, like I mentioned earlier, was horrendous last season, but they did make improvements pretty much everywhere, which is great to see. But now that I'm here, the play calling really won't, won't be too difficult as a whole. Um, I really just have one play that I like, so as long as they can do that, we'll be good. Yeah. Interesting formation. I, I mean, really. This Giants defense is interesting because they were like sneaky good for a little stretch last season. Of course, on the D-line, we got guys like Dexter Lawrence, Leonard Williams. We know those guys are great. I believe they paid Leonard Williams last. Oh, my God. They did recently just cut James Bradbury. So, our DB room is looking a little thin now. Adoree Jackson's here. Then we got some young guys like... um. They drafted him this year. Cordell Flock? Cordell? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that's ball knowledge right there. I'm just saying. Xavier McKinney enjoyed a great year, too, as he was honestly one of the Giants' best players last season, if not even the best. I believe he was, like, near the top of the interception leaders as well, so shout out to X. And shout out my boy Aziz as well, who had a great rookie season. I think he had around eight sacks, but was largely overshadowed by Micah Parsons, of course, Jalen Phillips, but Aziz was still really good, and hopefully, you know, the tandem with him and Kayvon Thibodeau could be something special here. Oh, yeah, and by the way, if you didn't see Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan yeah, we're both given superstar development by me because I feel like that's what they're going to be next year. So if you don't like that, then um, slap. Nah, I need to stop saying that. I took way too much abuse last video, man. Okay, quick little trade here. This is the Bears pick, by the way, so I'm just giving it back to them. But I am giving them Sterling Shepard as well in exchange for a third. Nothing crazy. They need a lot of wide receiver help for my boy Fields. <laughs> of course, no playbooks, no scheme changes for the first season here. Let's go ahead and find out what we will be at midseason. We're... <laughs> We're five and two. What? Okay, I was not expecting that at all. Five and two is a crazy record. We went on a five game win streak here, beating the Rams, Cowboys, Saints, some good teams. My national scout is on QB as well. I'm kind of questioning it now, but I'm not paying Daniel Jones, so let's rock.
Nope, nope. Mullet man, it's a no for me, dog. Uh, yeah, there's low key nothing here, to be honest with you. <laughs> and the rest are nobodies. Also, we're absolutely here for the commander's downfall. All right, I'm simming a week 11, and of course, after I say that, we go on a two game losing streak. Unstoppable force, immovable object. What is what? Here for some private workouts now, and we do have some good QBs. Stephen Harden, um, Steph Curry, and James Harden hybrid would be one of the best offensive players of all time. So him under center would be kind of tasty, you know what I'm saying? Then Ben Delgado here as well. Brenton Ellington only round two to three, and Loki, those are the only QBs in this whole class. I'm gonna scout this linebacker, DeAndre Miller out of Oregon State, shout out to the Beavers. And then for my last two, I'm gonna go with a D tackle here, Brandon Jones, as well as safety, John Swan. Week 18, I believe we left off at around five and four. We end up going seven and 10, M missed out on the playoffs. Not too surprising. Jesus, Danny Dimes, he, it was no, no dimes in that 30 seconds dead last in the league offensively defense wasn't good either though um some interesting stats here by daniel jones as he puts up 3500 yards 23 touchdowns to four interceptions is one hell of a ratio i won't even lie but um it's a little too late saquon was all right almost put up 1400 yards on a ton of carries though 4.1 on average 10 touchdowns galladay led the receiving yards with 938 also had himself eight touchdowns shout out bellinger 800 yards in his year one slayton was okay tony was all right you guys sitting there watching this video right now you guys did more than wandell robinson blake martinez leads the way for tackles made 121 there we got ta tackle for losses 17 for leonard williams 12 for cave on thibodeau 10 there for dexter lawrence sack numbers nine for leonard williams nine for cave on thibodeau after year one love to see that Dexter Lawrence had a few as well interceptions five for Adore Jackson four for Xavier McKinney okay but overall another mediocre season I'll revamp the squad NFL MVP and fantasy football MVP probably went to Jonathan Taylor Justin Fields won offensive rookie of the year as the Bears went three and 14 hey I traded for their third round pick I traded for their third round pick and defensive rookie of the year was Micah Parsons of course Hutchinson number three there Kayvon Thibodeau was number four as he's number seven as well did we get any offensive linemen for the old line hell no Evan Neal will be there soon though mark my words Devies 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 did we we get any on offense i do not think so daniel jones didn't go up if he did i was gonna let go of him anyway if i'm being honest with you he has to go blood he has to go blood. defensively though i feel like we could have gotten some no adore aziz ojalor went up to superstar as you can see development trade increased to superstar dev i don't even remember reading his stats um he had 72 tackles seven tfls two and a half sacks two two interceptions as well though he kind of did a little bit of everything and you know what I'll take it. He was the only one we got, though, so. Oh, my God. America's team got absolutely embarrassed in the Super Bowl here. The Chiefs beat them 45-6. to You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. How Players ready to go, never mind. Go to free agency, we got about 52 mil to spend, you know. Hello, Tom. And yeah, as you guys know, with the new rosters and everything updated, uh, the first season of free agency... It's very bad. There's, there's nobody here. <laughs> Rocket League legend Boston Scott. Wow, this tight end looks nuts. Man, like I said, the other QBs in this class just suck. Yo, I swear punters are so mean. We did get Tyquan Lewis, though. Ooh. Ooh, Daniel Jones is due for an extension in about a year? Nope. Start the draft. We're gonna have pick number seven, I'll say. Number nine, we'll take number nine. Ooh, and the Heisman went to a QB that goes by the name of Scott Patterson. Where is he on the draft board though? He is number four here, a day three talent projection going to round two to three? Huh? Dude's got poor acceleration, poor speed. I mean, at least we won't see any of- Any trips? Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, obviously his stats are gonna be bad. We know he's a day three talent already, but um, he's hitting dev. <laughs> wow. Okay. See, all I saw on this man was B zone coverage, and it made me a little excited, but I guess not. I'm gonna be honest, at our pick number nine, I think these top QBs are gonna be off the board by then, unless I trade up. Small part of me kind of wants to, um, kind of wants to take Scott Patterson in the later rounds. Yes, he may have won the Heisman, but a lot of analysts and scouts and people all over the media are really discrediting my guy. Some say it was the most Mickey Mouse Heisman of all time, whatever that means. Others say that the entire Ohio State team carried this man. He really didn't have to do too much. This is giving me some familiar vibes to a little Lamar Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Oh wait, yeah, it was this guy. Um... He's not even, he's not even an eighth of the athlete Lamar Jackson is. <laughs> but you know what I mean. They say his accuracy is okay, but nothing special. He can't really make plays for himself outside of the pocket. He can't run to save his life with his D carrying an F juke move. And my boy can truck him off though. <laughs> Watch your profanity. And blah, blah, blah. All of these people are talking their nonsense about him. But end of the day, I'm going to build this man up. He's going to have a chip on his shoulders. 
And he's going to be something special. That's if I get him. Hopefully I do because I just talked a lot and I haven't even simmed a big. <laughs> Brenton Ellington goes number three and some say it was daylight robbery that he didn't win the Heisman. Stephen Harding goes number five to the Saints. Many people say he's the next Matt Ryan. Um, hold on. This guy's still here. <laughs> ben Delgado, Michigan QB. And from those stats right there, he looks decent. Oh my god, really good combine of ratings as well, all around the board. He does not have a weakness. Bro, I just made up that entire storyline and talked up that other guy so much. I feel like I'm inclined to choose. <laughs> Bro, I really didn't think this dude would fall to me, man. Ah, oh, and at the end of the day, all of that talk was just smokescreen, you know what I'm saying? Last year, we saw it with the Niners when they trained up to number three. Everyone's like, oh my god, they're gonna take Mac Jones. Nope. We're taking Trey Lance. We're now in a similar situation. We're here at number nine. Everybody thought we were going to go with Scott, the Heisman winner. We talked about how much we loved him. But Ben Dalgado fell because of that. And for that reason, I am going. Oh! Ew! Ew! What the f I should have stuck to my plan. I should have stuck to my plan. Bro, I'm actually so mad now. <laughs> Round two, I'm going to go with Elton Carlson here, that tight end that put up some ridiculous ratings in the combine as well. Going to be another weapon for our new guy. And he's actually hitting developments. You know, we'll take that 22 years old out of Ole Miss. Hopefully better than Evan Ingram, though. Okay, that was easy. Trading pick number 66 and 105 to move up to 56 because... Mm -hmm. That's right. Just kidding. We're going to choose defensive tackle here. Nate Palmer <laughs> looks okay. We have him 90% scouted. I liked what I saw a little bit. We can move or we can get some more people um, for D-line help, but he's only normal. Hey, yo, if Scott is still here, I might take him. Oh, he's actually gone. He's actually gone. Okay. Oh, my God. Tyson Callaway, Georgia center, A impact block, A pass block right off rip. Yeah, I'm sold. I'm sold, honestly. Hidden development as well. That's our setup for the future. And then last pick here in the third round, I'm going to go with Kenny Tarrant, a safety out of Oregon. Maybe the next Javon Hahn. You know what I'm saying? Never mind. He's still <laughs> one. Uh, a very weird draft, honestly. A very weird draft. But how do we do? Delgado's a 74. You know what? We'll take that. Carlson's only 70, but he is hidden development. Palmer, 70. Callaway, 74. Tarrant, 74 as well. Okay. And you know what? End of the day, Ben Delgado is still only 22 years old. And there's a lot of things to like about him. He doesn't really have too many flaws. All his stats look pretty good. Love the 91 throw sack, 86 break sack. He can make you pay on the ground as well if you give him too much space. However, I am very, very interested to see those other QBs. Brenting Ellington here, who we saw go number three overall, is only 72 overall in his normal development as well. The commanders stay being down bad. And then Stefan Harden, that just sounds so weird, who went number five to the Saints, 76 overall as well, and hidden dev. This man is going to be star development, so nothing too crazy. However, where is the main guy? Where did he go? Scott Patterson went in the third round pick number six. Is only 66 overall, but we knew that. We also knew he was that hidden dev. Let's see what he's going to be because I talked him up so much. I honestly really wanted to go him and go with that project. But he's only star development. So you know what? It would have been a it would have been a tough fight uphill. 66 overall, only star as well. I'll take Delgado all day. Like I kind of just wanted to bank on his development trait in hopes that it was like superstar or X Factor or something crazy. By the way, there's an 84 running back in this class. Went number 25 to the Bengals. An 80 overall safety that went number one as well. Wow. But after that, 76 and under. So those two guys were kind of the top dogs in this class. Year number two now, and I'm not gonna lie with you guys, something just feels a little bit different with Ben Delgado under center. He's got that like he's got that swagger about him, that stardom that New York has been missing for so long. <clears throat> what? You saw nothing. I can't really wrap my finger around what it is but he's just he's him um i do have a lot of staff points do i reveal carson or callaway i think i'm gonna do elton carson o-line's just it's a little boring let's be honest and ladies and gentlemen our new tight end is okay okay still gonna start him though because of course star is better than normal and you know what end of the day ben delgado is actually a higher rating than daniel jones already despite being three four years younger so you know what you know new front offense intact and we went ahead and got our guy. Defensively, nothing too much changed over here, but it is overall still relatively young, so hopefully they can all just keep improving. And this is the specialist section if any of you guys are interested. However, let's go to midseason where our record will be 6-0. and oh, oh my god. We even have a QB breakout. No way. We are putting up monstrous numbers every single game, averaging around 30 offensive points per game. Obviously offensive. You know what I mean, though. Ben Delgado has us at number two in the league for offensive yardage. Oh my god. And our defense even stepped up. What I'm most excited about, though, is this QB breakout we have for Ben Delgado. He just has to throw one or fewer picks and have 300 scrimmage yards or three total touchdowns, and he will go from normal to star. What is next man up? Coach Saquon Barkley was seen limping around the facility and now has been ruled out for the game? 
Hey, yo, even when I turn injuries off, Saquon is still getting hurt somehow. Um, let's, let's challenge the team. I don't <laughs> How did that happen? Flat tire. Saquon Barkley is out this week, but we're returning for your next game. Um, speak of the devil, though, he does need a contract extension. And in real life, this is a very tough situation for the Giants, whether they should pay Saquon or just let him walk. Because we know the talent's there, but as you guys just saw, his, he's very injury prone. But for Madden's sake, assuming he won't get injured for the future, he is 91 overall. He's still an amazing running back, so I'm going to pay him what he wants. And he's here for the remainder of the video. Dexter Lawrence is here as well, 88 overall and just 24 years old old as well i feel like that is way too good to pass on and to let him just walk for nothing so let's go ahead and sign him back to a deal as well he's here slayton i might let walk we'll see how he does at the end of the season but i, I would like one to step up blake martinez probably just a little too old now and only normal julian love we'll see at the end of the year you know what maybe i trade danny dimes right now and try to get a pick or something what the heck did I just see? Tom Brady's on the freaking Jaguars, bro. Oh, wow. That actually worked. Okay, I'm trading Daniel Jones to the Seahawks here for just the third round pick. We saw Sam Darnold go for like a second. Carson Wentz for a first. Don't talk to me. But all of that out of the way now, it is finally time to go ahead and sim this game for a QB breakout. We actually lost. We lost our first game 27-24. Hey, Saquon's back though. <laughs> Coach, another big performance by QB Ben Delgado, and you have to be excited about the direction he seems to be headed. Don't say it ain't the don't say it ain't so. He actually went up. He went up to start of. Oh my god, Ben Delgado is that guy. Wow, now we lost the Eagles. What's going on? Just would like to check out if we got any crazy prospects here. We do look at this gem. Round one talent in rounds two to three. Ooh. Round one talent, round three to four, Derek Sheffield, okay. Ooh, Antoine Boss, he's got a great name as well. Look at his stats, he's actually the only corner I have relatively scouted as well at a 95%, as you can see. We got some other guys later on, but Antoine Boss is looking quite nice. Bro, three game losing streak ever since I hopped in. Bro, I do not remember who I wanted to private work on. <laughs> we do actually have another breakout though. This one is sounding like a receiver. I'm praying for Kadarius Tony. It's actually Darius Slayton, but okay, if he gets this, I'm re-signing him. <laughs> we got a little Thursday night football game against the Commander as well inner divisional rivals can we come away bro four game losing streak what's happening i didn't get it done today coach all right slayton you're gone after this year okay well we were six and oh we were on top of the moon and then we went ahead on a and went on a four game losing streak however we do make the playoffs here our first of many as it says going 11 and six. Oh my god ben delgado went crazy kenny galati receiving leader as well wow offensively number one in the entire league defensively topped up the top 10 as well and ben delgado did not have a bad rookie year if i say so myself putting up 5600 yards that might be the record for yardage 43 touchdowns to 13 interceptions what a season saquon barkley in 16 games not quite 17 it put up 1329 yards four and a half a carry in 20 touchdowns. Bro, Galladay, Galladay might live up to his contract. 1,700 yards led the entire NFL. Nine touchdowns as well. Slayton broke 1,200 yards, seven touchdowns. Tony, 10 touchdowns. Carson, 10 touchdowns. As we had three receivers over 1,000 yards. Blake Martinez once again leads the way for tackles. Made 16 TFLs for Kayvon Thibodeau. 12 there for Ojolari. And Thibodeau had himself 12 sacks. Dexter Lawrence with nine. Ojolari, seven and a half interceptions. Julian Love with five. Okay, Martinez, three turns. Rant, our rookie, Flaw, and Darnay Holmes with two. It actually was the record as well. Oh my goodness. Beating out Tom Brady, one Michigan QB to another. Ben Delgado now holds that title with 5,600 yards for the season on the dot as well. That looks gorgeous. Wait, Brady did this last year in the, in the simulation. <laughs> However, in the first round, we got ourselves the San Francisco 49ers. A little 5-4 matchup here as the Chargers number one seed in the AFC. Cowboys number one seed in the NFC. Let's go ahead and sim our very first playoff game. With Ben Delgado under center, anything, anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? How are we going to go out like that, bro? That, that's sad. Nick Chubb wins MVP despite only going 9-8, but look who's number three. It's our boy, Del Goto, baby. <laughs> okay. Offensive rookie of the year was never in doubt, but look who's number two. Our tight end, Elton Carson, a QB's best friends. You love to see it. And uh, Tarant, number three for best or defensive rookie of the year. Kayvon Thibodeau even won best linebacker. Let's go. We should be seeing a lot of Devies here. Because we just had a historic season in all fronts, to be honest with you. And oh my goodness, super shiny golds everywhere. Delgado goes up to superstar. Saquon Barkley up to superstar. Kenny Galladay to finish off the trio up to superstar development. For the defensive side, um, I was hoping Kayvon Thibodeau would go up to X-Factor maybe. But unfortunately, he doesn't. And also, unfortunately, I don't think we got anybody else here. We do, however, have three upgrade points for Ben Delgado. Let's figure out what he has to work on. Wow, his accuracy is good. His throw power went up to a 94 already as well. All right, let's just improve throw and run play action under pressure. 
Okay, thanks. By the way, Callaway's only a star. I believe a Super Bowl rematch here, however, it is the same result. The Chiefs beat out the Cowboys 38-17, which we absolutely love to see. And you know what? For next year, kick out the Cowboys, please. Put us in there because back in the day, we owned Brady. And now we're going to own Mahomes. These are the three main guys we have up for contracts. And I think I'm just probably going to let them all walk. And we got ourselves about 73 mil to splash around here in free agency. We got a nice little core build now now here. We just got to round it off a little bit on the edges. Lamar Jackson here. Quinn Nelson is here. You rarely ever see him. Roquan. Never see him either. Elton Jenkins. Scary Terry's up here. We got some crazy names. Ooh, Nate Davis would be nice as well. And ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to go all in for Quentin Nelson. Because did you just see what our rookie QB just put up. He just put up historic numbers. We absolutely know we have our guy. We got to give him the best protection possible. And the best lineman in the league is just sitting here in free agency for whatever reason. Didn't re-sign with the Colts. I think it makes perfect sense. 116 points for Quentin Nelson. Puts us comfortably at number one. Let's go. Come to New York, baby. Not going to lie. I've never seen Roquan here either. I'm tempted to put in a bid for him, but I'm just going to leave it be. He's going to go back to the Bears anyway. Because <laughs> I feel like we should invest our money more in corner. I think we're a little thin there. I think I signed Jamel Dean in my last video. So let's go ahead and go the other buck in your corner. Sean Murphy Bunny. However, can we get Quentin Nelson back? That's the big one, and we do. We also get Sean Murphy bunch as well. Let's go. Chase Edmonds on a cheap deal just to be that backup running back for us in case Saquon randomly gets hurt again somehow. <laughs> I was going one by one because I was honestly contemplating about trading up for Antoine Boss. He looked so good. You guys saw him earlier, but there he goes. He went so early. So here's what's going through my head, right? I don't really see any value right now for this first round pick. Any of the, all the players I want are going way later on. So I'm going to look to trade it here and I'm looking at the Cardinals and we need a linebacker and I see a cheeky little Isaiah Simmons. Now, after they drafted him next year, they drafted Zayvon Collins. And then it looks like they drafted another linebacker in this video so far. So that's two linebackers behind Isaiah Simmons, who they chose really high up in the draft. I believe it was top 10. Oh my God, he actually wanted a superstar as well. Oh, now I really want to do this. But they chose him really high up. And he hasn't really lived up to the hype so far. But I still think we can all agree that the talent is still there. His fit is just not right in Arizona. They're going to have to pay him soon. And they already have to pay Kyler a lot of money. They got to pay Hollywood Brown whatever he wants. Because they traded a freaking first for him. So I think this makes perfect sense. I'm going to bring him to New York. It's kind of an overpay, honestly. This might be a win for them. I'm trading a first for him. But I'm going to do it. And he is going to be my new starting middle linebacker. I think the storyline makes sense, realistic or not. We just saw what happened in the offseason. Realistic isn't even a thing in real life, okay? So let it be. And now with pick number 24 in the second round, I also have number three in the third round. I believe that's the Seahawks pick when we traded Daniel Jones. So it looks like he didn't do anything over there. First pick here, I'm going to go Dewan Buchanan, a safety round one talent. We got him fully scouted. His stats don't look anything too crazy, but 6'4", he's got unreal size he's probably gonna be my starting safety right away and unfortunately he is only normal dev but you know what i'm gonna do that's right i'm gonna double dip at safety this time with Derek sheffield who we also have scouted he's a round one talent b zone coverage as well and i'm praying he's hidden dev because i want hidden dev to be my starter you know what i'm saying okay thank you very much Derek. thank you like although a lot of them were normal development i'm hoping they're just all good ratings to one buchanan 74 overall sheffield's a 75 now McCarron ain't great and the rest of the draft class ain't great as well but these two safeties are a really good rating and of course we did end up with Isaiah Simmons anyway so I'm pretty happy overall about it but let's go ahead and check out this class like I said I didn't see too much value at the top of the class here so that's why I traded down yeah as you can see nothing too crazy Antoine Boss though I actually did want he is hidden development if he was available for just a few picks longer I probably would have traded up for him but He's only star, so it's okay. There's a free safety that went in the third round, number six overall, 75 overall as well. He is hitting dev. I just didn't have any free safety scouted. Overall, though, this draft class really wasn't anything special, but you know what? Let's go to year three where you should. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you are still here because you guys got to be enjoying it at least a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you guys love franchise content like this, just scroll down, check if you're subscribed real quick. It would mean the world. But here we are now in year number three and Delgado just came off a ridiculous season going up to superstar development now. All his skill position players look really good. This old line looks amazing now. I for totally forgot we signed Quentin Nelson. And the defense is looking tasty as well. I did move Xavier McKinney and Buchanan there to free safety and strong safety. We still got Tarrant and Sheffield, of course. We traded our first round pick for Isaiah Simmons, which was highly controversial, but I hope it pays off for me in the end. And then Sean Murphy Bunting to add to this CB room as well. The defense is looking real nice. Specialists is how we're going to be rocking. I'm not changing no schemes, no playbooks, because everything was amazing last season. I'll see you guys midseason. And we are currently sitting with a 4-3 and three record. A little down year, but we're still tied for first in the division. Contracts, we're going to have a Dory Jackson, Leonard Williams. 
Williams, Xavier McKinney, Isaiah Simmons, of course. That's why they traded him. Andrew Thomas as well. I'd like to bring all these guys back. Wow, and we have a ton of money. Almost 150 mil. Oh my goodness, and of course our QB's on that rookie deal as well, so let's build out this squad as best we can. Leonard Williams on win on though. He's a little bit older now, about to hit 30 years old, so he might start regressing. Xavier McKinney though, no doubt I would love this man for the next five seasons, 100%, and he's here to stay. Let's go. Isaiah Simmons, of course, the Cardinals couldn't pay him his deal, but we traded for him because we want him, and we're gonna give him his money, of course. Good old Andrew Thomas, the blindside protector of Delgado. Gotta keep him around, gotta keep the O-line intact. Darnay Holmes, I'm a win on as well. I'm gonna see how he does this season. Also, shout out Graham Gano for giving even cave on Thibodeau number five. He's a real one. Okay, so we just got smacked by the Chiefs, unfortunately. 42-24, but I see two breakouts. You know, I'll take a loss for two breakouts. Looks like this one is a receiver. Again, we get that we got that same message. It's Kadarius Tony this time. He needs three touchdowns, 150 yards. Get it done, Kadarius. Ooh, this other one's for Kenny Turant, or safety that we drafted, I believe, last season. Is the starting strong safety now. If he could go up to start, that would be beautiful. Go ahead and sim this game against the Rams, and we lose again. 37-31, man. We are kind of on a downhill spiral we're under 500 now not great at all but somebody's proud of his performance i don't know who it is please be Kadarius tony wait no i don't think he got it actually <laughs> Stupid. All I read was the first sentence. Oh, Kenny Tarrant. I put it like, I think this one he got it right. Yes, sir. Kenny Tarrant goes up to start development. I'll take that. Even though we gave up 37 points, I will take Kenny Tarrant, baby. Dang, I really thought Tony went up, though. <laughs> Please, can we beat the Commanders? 31 17. Yeah, we own the Commanders. Come on now. Um, I actually didn't look at anyone in this draft class. I won't lie. So I'm going in a little bit blind here. Wow, a lot of round one talent edge there. I like it. I'm really hoping we can make the playoffs, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not feeling too good. Luckily, we do a 10 and 7, barely squeeze our way in, but I'll take it. It's a rematch of last season. Okay, another good season by our offense. Number six in the league. It's a little down, but top six is always great. And then seventh defensively. Wow, our record should have been better. Mm, Delgado regressed a tiny bit. Obviously, he put up some historic numbers last season. Kind of hard to live up to again, but still really good. 5,200 yards for him. 34 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. I'd like to see the picks go down a little bit. Mm, Saquon wasn't that good for Saquon's sake. You know what I mean? 1,093 yards, only 4.1 to carry. He did get 18 touchdowns though, but... I want more yards, Saquon. I really do. Kadarius Tony, 1,350 yards for him. Six touchdowns there. Wondell Robinson put it ones across the boards for yards and touchdowns. Galladay almost broke 1,100 as well. And Carson did his thing. Isaiah Simmons, of course, leads the way for tackles. Made our defense top seven. I like it. Dexter Lawrence, 17 TFLs, 14 there for Leonard Williams, 13 for Kayvon Thibodeau and Ojalari, I believe. Leonard Williams, nine sacks. Unfortunately, though, Thibodeau and Ojalari, only five each. Kind of disappointing. Not going to lie. And then three picks for Adore Jackson, two for Holmes. Other than that, not much. In the end, we are still in the playoffs. And can we get our revenge on Trey Lance and the Niners who beat us in the wild card last season? And they beat us again. This time, 24-21. We cannot get past the freaking night. MVP went to Kermit as they went 16-1. and Wow, Quinn Nelson didn't even finish number one, so I can't even upgrade him. Did we get Evan Neal in here finally? Oh, Evan Neal did make it. He's actually already a superstar, though. It's going to be tough to upgrade him. <laughs> Go check out some Devies. Honestly, kind of a disappointing year because I kind of went all in a little more this season, and we it was the same result as last year. No Devies on the offense. I was hoping Tony could go up, but he does not. Delgado remains at superstar as well. Defensively, however nothing as well i don't think i swear we've gotten like nothing on the defense besides ojalari <laughs> oh wait adori jackson went to the superstar we will take that because i gave him a new contract let's go cowboys made another super bowl this time they win it 37 34 beating the colts there micah parsons super bowl mvp we got to get there soon leonard williams as you can see is now regressing so i think our best option is to let him go darnay holmes really doesn't want any money at all bump it up a little bit five-year deal for our cb3 that's kind of a steal if you ask me and he's here to stay let's go all right this is the off season though we're we're three years into this now we have a hundred and three mil to spend in free agency a ton of money to really build out this squad lamar is here again for whatever reason tyron smith tyron matthew stefan gilmore jalen johnson jalen johnson would be nice we have we have a lot of db depth i won't lie but man that's a good player okay i think i just got everybody i want to yeah let's go leonard williams we got back just on a one-year deal pat ricard jimmy g just as a backup jalen johnson i know we're paying a lot of dbs but this man had no bids. He's 89 overall, like 25 years old. How could I not, bro? And then Sebastian Joseph Day to be a nice little DT nose tackle for us. I can move Dexter Lawrence back out to like left end. And our D line's looking nice. And after all that, we still have 62 mil as well. But I'm going to just remain flexible for now. We can see what we want to do next year. Seahawks have the number one pick. Looks like the Daniel Jones experiment did not work out. <laughs> My bad. I'm kind of just looking for a linebacker here. And it looks like we got some good ones later on. So we should be good. Oh, there goes the top guy though. Glenn Patterson went right before me, bro. Really? So we're at pick number 19. 
19 now and Denzel Donaldson is going way later on he's around number 50 on the draft board at pick number 19 so I'm praying absolutely praying we can get him in the second round but for right now I'm gonna go with this right end that I have scout he's a round one talent we need that Leonard Williams replacement for the future because remember he's only on a one-year deal and Rick Charles can be that guy out of Stanford just 21 years old as well so right now he can just sit out for a year maybe be a little rotational piece for us but He's going to be that blue question mark. And I'm, I swear I have not hit on many this video, but you know what? That's okay. Rick Charles, welcome to the squad. Like my drafting was kind of trash and my Steelers reboot as well. By the way, I kept 50 staff points. You guys know why? Because I want to reveal this hidden development robot I get. This middle linebacker that I saved for the second round. He is still here. Denzel Donaldson out of Iowa State. I saved 50 staff points for a reason. He's already got A zone coverage as well. One of the best coverage linebackers. The best coverage linebacker in the entire class. Let me see. Blue, baby. Let's go. We finally got one. I'm going to reveal him and it's about to be sweet. I um, kind of made a mistake here. I totally forgot I need a right guard. So there was a center that actually looked insane. I totally just forgot about him. But Luke Winters doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to go ahead and take him in the third run and pray that he's decent. He's only normal, but please just be a good rating. Let's go ahead and check out the draft recap as Rick Charles is a 75 overall. Donaldson 72. Winters is not that guy. <laughs> check out the class right quick though. Just see the highest rated 82 rated free safety who went number four. Oh my goodness. Donovan Moden. Brother of, of course, Elijah Moden from the Texans or from the Titans. Sorry, he's only star though. He ain't even too crazy. You know who I'm intrigued in? Though. I'm intrigued about that center that I was talking about. It's this guy, Sam Hansen. Went 28th in the second round, 76 overall. Okay, he's only normal as well, but man, his rating is nice. Year four now, and I've just seen Wondell Robinson is actually started. Moment. Did he go up last year? And I completely missed it. If so, give him that rare candy. He deserves it. <laughs> and a right guard sucks. Defensively, we look amazing now, though. We got Joseph Day here. Jalen Johns is a 90 overall. We drafted Donaldson, and we got 50 staff points. Please just show me gold. I deserve it. I haven't gotten one all video. I didn't get one last video as well. <laughs> My drafting skills are washed. Specialist, yup. Mid-season, yup. No, four and three, tied top of the division though. It's kind of tight. Aziz is here and my God, he wants the bag. He is only 24 years old though. We still have a ton of money. He's progressing very nicely. Superstar development. He's here to stay. Okay. Kadarius Tony, I think we keep around as well. He's progressing nicely. Like I said, I do want him to be my wide receiver one. And we got the money to do this because this man is going to be off the books this year. Thank God. Wondell's actually here as well for some reason. But I'm, I'll just give him a deal right now. Pretty cheap deal. And he's actually progressing decently. Oh, I seem to go to week 11. And we just smacked the Eagles and got a QB breakout. As Ben Delgado was player of the week. 27 for 35. 309 yards. Five passing touchdowns. And all he needs to do is throw one or fewer interceptions receptions and have 400 scrimmage yards or four total touchdowns to increase his depth rate to superstar x factor of course he got one earlier my man is one for one already can he go two for two we only put up 14 points you lose a game like that does it come back to ben delgado needed to play better yeah no chance he got it week 18 is wrapped up we made the playoffs again going 11 and 6 second in the division as well we we have the Niners for the third straight season in the wild card. You've got, I'm 0-2 against them. Oh yeah, Ben Delgado is back, baby. Number two in offensive yardage this season. Defense kind of went down a little bit. That's after getting Joseph Day, after getting Jalen Johnson, drafting that middle linebacker. Kind of weird, but Delgado, 5,400 yards for him. 39 touchdowns, 17 picks. He's still throwing a lot of picks, but you know what? The other stats are amazing. Except for his pass attempts. You sold your soul, didn't you, Delgado? Oh, Saquon's back. Big year for him. 1,400 yards, 5.5 a carry, as well as 24 touchdowns. Let's go. Oh, my God. Tony's got to go up to superstar after this season. 1,450 yards, 8 touchdowns for him. Galladay had a good year. Carson had a good year, over 1,000 yards. And Wondell Robinson, 5 yards short of 4 receivers over 1,000 yards. That would have been nuts, but he did have 11 touchdowns. He's led the way. Isaiah Simmons leads the way for tackles made. Of course, of course, Dexter Lawrence, 20 sacks, 17 for Leonard Williams or uh, tackle for losses. Sack numbers, though. Kayvon Thibodeau, 11 and a half. Ojalari, 10 and a half. So they doubled their mark from last season. And you love to absolutely see it. Interceptions, 5 for Jalen Johnson, who we, of course, brought in. Odori with 3. Simmons with 2. And I find myself in a very familiar spot here. We've been here the last two seasons. Wild card round against the San Francisco 49ers with Trey Lance. They've beat me two times back-to-back -back seasons. Can they go for 3 for 3? Can I get one? Oh, my God. We actually, I don't know what I was talking about there, but we barely scraped away with a win, 42-35. Now we have divisional rivals and three-time Super Bowl makers. You know what I mean? They've made the Super Bowl three years in a row in this video. Can we get the crown in the NFC? No. 
35-17. The Cowboys are just inevitable, bro. Inevitable. Oh, Chiefs Cowboys again. Woo. Ooh, Mahomes MVP again. Woo. But look at the number two. Vaughn Miller on the Patriots. I've never ever seen an edge win MVP, so. I kind of want to check out his stats after this. I'm actually very intrigued. I've never seen an edge that high in my life. Defense. These Patriots playbook hit 33 and a half sacks. That is outrageous. Outrageous. I believe they're in a 3-4 as well. I might go past next year, bro. What in the world? Devies, there's a chance we get a few. Delgado, Tony, maybe two that go up to X-Factor. Or Tony did not go up to Superstar after that season. Are you kidding me? But... Delgado goes up to X Factor, which is the one I was least that was least likely in my opinion, but that's the one I'll take to be honest with you. Defensively, once again, just not too much. Oh, Jalen Johnson, another corner going up. You know what? I will take that all day long. But I'm I'm, I'm hoping for a Thibodeau or an Ojolari, Dexter Lawrence, or Xavier McKinney. None of them are going up though. <laughs> Off season time in year four, we still got 72 mil to spend. We got a ton of great names here. Nick Bowen, Orlando Brown is here. Moo. Okay, not gonna lie, didn't do too much in free agency. There were just wasn't really anything I loved too much. I'll bring in Orlando Brown here for this last season and then Ramondre Stevenson for a backup running back. Of course, in the offseason, we lost Galladay and I didn't really replace him, but I did tier three scout wide receivers for that reason. We got ourselves Juan Trevino here, round one and two talent. Doesn't look too bad here. A low deep threat option out of Auburn. He's gonna be my choice here. He's gonna be my wide receiver three and I see blue so I like what I see and one last trade here pick number 57 and 89 gonna be going up to number 35 because there's an insane offensive lineman that I need for my right guard position His name is Cassius Stamper center out of Alabama really great ratings all around there just A's across the board This man is crazy and I'll see you guys in year five, baby. I'm actually going to start the season and just reveal my boy Juan Trevino right away, our wide receiver. And he's only start development anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's going to be our wide receiver three, though. This is how the offense is looking. As you guys know, Delgado is a 92 X factor now, so it should be nice. Stamper, 75 right guard we moved him out to. The defense is pretty much still the same. We did lose Leonard Williams, but I chose my guy Rick Charles last season. Praying he can step up. Also, Patriots defensive playbook is intact now. I'm going straight to the offs. Wait, guys, I just realized I definitely signed Orlando Brown because I was going to move in the right tackle and move Evan Neal to right guard. And now Andrew Thomas is just sitting on the bench. Um, I think that's still our best move. Sorry, Cassius. <laughs> okay, well, now the O-line's looking like this. Absolute S tier of an O-line, if you ask me. And now I'll see you guys in the playoffs where hopefully we got a bye week. Oh my god, we actually do 14 and 3? Oh my god, I'm not even gonna lie. I thought we missed the playoffs for a second, bro. <laughs> Holy crap, our only losses to the Cowgirls, the Raiders, and to the freaking Cowgirls again. You gotta be kidding me, but we ended the season off on a 3, 6, 8 game winning streak. We have absolute momentum and the team is on fire. Offensively, we were 7th this year, so a little lower, but tell me defense was number 1. Huh? 14-3 though, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So confused. <laughs> Delgado had under 5k yards, 34 touchdowns, 15 picks. A pretty mid-season for his standards, but like I said, 14 wins, baby. Saquon Barkley, 1,400 yards, 4.6 carry, and then 22 touchdowns. Kadarius somehow didn't go up to superstar last season. Tony put up 1,400 again, 8 touchdowns for him. Wandell, 9 touchdowns. Carson Trevino was okay for a rookie. Defensively, Isaiah Simmons put up 143 tackles, but did we have any crazy sack numbers? 11 10 and a half the same as last year okay new england player book i don't know but we're 14 3 like i keep saying so i don't really mind seven picks for jalen johnson though love that four for simmons three for bunting and mckinney and in the divisional round we got ourselves the nine and eight green bay packers is it jordan love nowadays is aaron Rodgers still there i don't know we absolutely kill them and look who we freaking have in the conference championship the long rivalry since i've been head coach of this team the Niners, we've played them every single season we've made the playoffs. They beat me twice. I beat them last year. They're 10 and 7. This is our best season yet. No Cowboys in sight. The Cowboys finally didn't make the Super Bowl. They actually only went 8 and 9 as well. This has to be our year to end off the video. Ladies and gentlemen, please tell me I'm in the Super Bowl and we barely scored the way. Bro. Oh my god, let's go. The team clutched up in year number five. The very last season, we won 40 to 38. And we're going to be playing the Kansas City Chiefs. Like I said earlier, we own Brady. We got to own Mahomes now. MVP was your best friend. Lamar is on the Vikings now. They go 12 and 5. <laughs> uh, like I said, absolute S tier of an old line. <laughs> we had all five people top five. 
I am not upgrading them because that's going to take too long. <laughs> Jalen Johnson, show me X Factor, baby. Yo, I'm so happy. I'm like rejuvenated now. I was honestly feeling a little down. I thought we weren't going to make the Super Bowl in this video. I was going to be a little sad, but we freaking clutched up in year number five, baby. Kadarius Tony, please tell me. Nope. How has this man not gone up to freaking superstar? I don't really know. We got nothing on offense, unfortunately. But the defense, Jalen Johnson didn't go up either. But Isaiah Simmons, who we traded a first round pick for, is now a 96 overall superstar X-Factor linebacker. Let's go. Chiefs squad, we might as well go check it out. Let's, let's look, at our, look at our team real quick. We got four 99s. Delgado is actually a 99 overall now. Love that cave on tip. It was a 98 as well. Our team is sick. Let's go check out the Chiefs though. Just always interested to see how these teams are later on in these in these videos. As Mahomes is of course a 99. Chris Jones, Clyde, Creed Humphrey, Ty Trey Smith actually a 99 as well. Holy crap. They have more 99s than us. Sky more 97 X Factor. Oh my goodness. Same with Lejerius Sneed. George Gart Loftus, 96 superstar. Wow. Wow. Travis Kelsey's still here, 35 years old. That is unreal. McDuffie developing Juan Thornhill, Scotty Miller. Yeah, this team's crack. Leo Chanel, 86 now. I got us though. We are a 94 squad. They are a 93. This is the clash of the Titans. Feels good. Feels so good to finally be here. Better late than never, they say. First six points go to the Chiefs there. We get a big old fat donut in the first quarter. Zero points for us, but we do get a field goal. It's a field goal battle out here. No touchdowns have been scored yet. Until now, we get the first one of the game. Chiefs get another field goal there to end off the first half. It is 10 to 9, a little low scoring game here, but second half, here we go. We score another touchdown, 17 to 9. Now we're kind of clapping for the Chiefs, bros, 20 to 9. Jump to next play as Chiefs have the ball at about midfield. Travis Kelsey gets them a first down. Defense kind of clamping up, but Sky Moore gets a 14 yard reception there. Third and inches. They get a huge, huge gain from Sky Moore again. We now got ourselves a third and five as the Chiefs are on our 11. Dude, our defense has superstars absolutely all over the place, including that X Factor Isaiah Simmons right in the middle. And right in the middle is, I think that's Juju Smith Schuster. Wide open gets to the one. Will the Chiefs get their first touch on the game here, or will the stingy Giants defense clamp up here? They actually opt to pass the ball here in Mahomes. Finds an open Kelsey. He doesn't get in though. They're in shock information now, but actually pass it once again. This time Kelsey dropped it. What a pass break up. I think that's Gabe on Thibodeau as well, number five. Oh my god, he can do a little bit of everything, bro. Looks like they're gonna run the ball here on third and goal. Clyde just goes in with absolute ease. All right, that was the anticlimactic. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finally watch this Giants offense that we have fully built. Delgado, oh my God, slings it all the way down the field. Jesus Christ, why, why, why are we risking it like that, bro? Second and 10, we up to pass again. This time a little screen pass to Saquon. He's got room. He should have went right there and followed the blockers, bro. Did get us some decent yardage nonetheless, but it is now third and four. Empty formation. Delgado, what do you got up your sleeve? Wide open first down, baby. Second and one. We finally hit. Nope, we don't hand the ball off to Saquon. Why can we? Can Saquon get a touch, man? As it just went from second and one to third and ten. Why not just hand it off to Saquon there and then they get a good stop there. I believe that's Trent McDuffie as well. We're punting the ball. Under four minutes to go. We're only up by three points, but Isaiah Simmons gets a huge tackle on Clyde. Third and seven on the 23. Mahomes slings it out to the right side. And it's a first down. Clyde again. Mahomes is going to be scrambling out left. Your slides just in time. We're about to rock his ass. Clock is ticking though. Two minutes, 15 to go. Second and six on the 41. Mahomes slings out to the left side. Almost the pick for, I think that's a Dory Jackson. We got an absolute thriller here in the Super Bowl in year five. Oh my God, the pass rush was there. But we get Clyde behind the line of scrimmage anyway on the 39. Fourth and eight. I think they just punt this, right? They're not. Andy Reid's going to go for it. Even though they have all three timeouts still left, they would get pretty good field position on us as well if they were to punt. Fourth and eight. Game on the line. Mahomes clutches up. I believe that's Sky Moore. Dang, and he gets out of bounds. That's tough. By the way, Sky Moore better not be number 24 in the NFL. I know he was number 24 wide receiver in college. But Mike, that's such a nasty number for a wide receiver. For a wide receiver. Second and 10 now. Mahomes with a little screen pass. It's Clyde again. It just bullies his way through. Here we go. Third and four on our 46. Can the defense clamp up once again? Mahomes. Aziz Ojolari. Aziz Ojolari. That is why I paid the man that big big money as it is now fourth and 15 the super bowl comes down to this one play alone mahomes slings it no sir no sir that's game that's game we just clutched up in year five like that bro Let's go. who was it it was a dory jackson as well beautiful beautiful we kept him throughout this whole video too andy reed is pissed 
His neck is moving mad. Now we're just gonna sim. We're gonna sim. We're gonna sim. And the time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Super Bowl champions in year five. Scrape it away with the victory there. 20 to 17. And who else would it be? None other than Del Goto, baby. <laughs> he definitely outplayed Mahomes, though. 24 for 43. He went only 230 yards, but he did have himself a touchdown. No picks. Mahomes had a pick. No touchdowns at 280 yards. 58 pass completion rate, which is actually better than Del Goto, though. <laughs> Saquon didn't have his best game. 15 carries, 54 yards, 3.6 carry, but did have a touchdown, which became massive in this game. Wondell Robinson and Kadarius Tony, six receptions each there, 77, 67 yards for them. Carson had 40. Who got the touchdown? Enrique Ferris. I don't even know who that is. Total tackles goes to Denzel Donaldson, the linebacker we chose last season. Isaiah Simmons, nine for him. Tackle for losses, three. Three for Azizo Jalari and three sacks. Oh my goodness, what a Super Bowl game he had. Rick Charles had one. Kayvon Thibodeau had one as well. The interception went to a Dory Jackson, who was great as well. I think Aziz could be Super Bowl MVP. Super Bowl MVP went to none other than Aziz Ojalari. What a way to end it, baby. I'm actually so happy right now, bro. Let's go. And of course, before we go ahead and round off the team, you guys made it to this point of the video, I just want to say I appreciate you a ton. You are an absolute real one. Of course, like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And comment down below Delgoto. And I'll shout you guys out in the intro to my next rebuild. Ben freaking Delgado, baby. 99 overall superstar X Factor. Stats absolutely cracked besides play action but man this guy was good man you guys remember the storyline around him as well when we chose him i was gonna go with that heisman freaking day three talent dude at first but this guy actually fell to me and i'm very glad he did because he was a beast put up almost 5,000 yards in every single season 34 plus touchdowns he always did throw a little bit um a lot of picks every single season 13 plus but look end of the day he lifted us that Super Bowl trophy in year number five, and he was a beast. He actually broke the passing record, too, in his rookie year. Legend. Legend. Saquon was awesome for us as well. Developed to a 99 overall. Despite never going up to X Factor, he was still a beast. Put up 1,000 yards in every single season there, and had three seasons where he put up 20-plus touchdowns. This was probably his best year, though. 5.4 carry and then 1,400 yards, too. Saquon, please stay healthy, man. I, the, the football world needs you next year. Kadarius never went up to superstar somehow. Tony developed to a 95 overall and he was definitely our wide receiver one for the later end of this video he was a beast definitely was shout out trevino who i drafted shout out galladay slayton i think had a good year for us and then wandell robinson their second over or no second round pick of course in 2022 and we developed him actually quite nicely he went up to star 88 overall now definitely a very very solid wide receiver two option carson who i believe i drafted in year number one he was an absolute gem for us as well just consistently really good up to a 90 overall now and one of the top tier tight ends in the league um yeah you guys saw how this O-line performed this season. All five of them finished top five in the best O-line. And if I did an O-line rule, I'd be here for another 30 minutes because it takes forever to change everybody's ratings. But shout out to Andrew Thomas. Evan Neal was amazing. Up to a 99 now. What a pick. Still love it. Callaway we drafted really early on. Quentin Nelson, who we saw in Free HT, who I've never, ever seen there. But the, the everything was just too good for me to pass up on him because we had our QB here. Everything just made sense. Everything just made sense. And Orlando Brown we brought in last season just to, just to get me over that dang hump man and the defensively was a little all over the place i feel like some years we were like five to seven and then other years we were like 28th and 25th including this season but they did their thing man dexter lawrence sebastian joseph day we brought in as well who was a beast rick charles i drafted i think last season stepped up got a sack in the super bowl you can't hate it and then shout out to um Leonard Williams as well, and whoever else we had before that, Taekwon Lewis. <laughs> Our DB room was fire, though. Jalen Johnson, we got it. I don't know why he didn't have a bid in free agency, but I snatched him right up, bought him to the Big Apple. 96 overall. Sean Murphy Bunting, we brought him pretty early on. Adoree Jackson, we stayed with this entire video. He went up to an 88 superstar. Darnay Holmes, 84 overall as well, and shout out my boy Cordell Flaw as well. Xavier McKinney was one of the guys I really wanted to go up to superstar, but unfortunately, he never did. However, still a 92 overall, was doing his thing throughout this entire video. Tarant, though, I drafted him. He was only normal dev. Got a breakout midseason. Went up to the star. So he's, he's got a place in my heart. Shout out to Chef Field as well. We had that one year where we drafted like five safeties. I swear. Ojalari. Super Bowl MVP. What a way to end the videos. Hey, real, real ones though. Way back in the day, Aziz was my guy last year on my Madden rebuilds, mainly because his name was always censored out because Aziz is a bad word, I guess. But Aziz, shout out to him. Kayvon Thibodeau was a beast as well. Developed to a 98 overall now. He was definitely another one. I was really praying he would go up to X Factor, but just never did. But overall, did his thing. Isaiah Simmons traded a first for it, and guess what? It paid off. 
it paid off because he was a beast for us and donaldson who i drafted as well shout out to you and ladies and gentlemen that is going to be wraps for this video as i said earlier really hope you guys enjoyed it of course comment down dub goto like i said earlier and i will be shouting you out in my next rebuild but other than that take care y'all peace